Okay, dear friends, today I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be a uh, Kiopetrix uh, level three. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. So now we can go into the Kali Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 165. And then I did the MMAP scanning, I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of a dash p dash. From the MMAP scanning results, as you can see, the two open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH service and also the actual version information, including the exact version number. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And the second one is 80, which is running HTTP surface. So now what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the 80 port. So now let's open up our browser. Let's put the IP address of the virtual machine. I need to make sure the IP address, not zero, but uh, five. So as you can see, this is some, the Ligert uh, security, and also we can make a very quick walk around. And also you can log in. And uh, I think because I think there's some code which is connecting to internet. However, I configure the network adapter of this virtual machine as host only. So it will take a time, a bit a long time to be time out. So, so we just wait for this login page to be loaded up and then we can move forward. As you can see, uh, now the browser is trying to connect to the uh, Google apps. As you can see, this is the login uh, panel. And uh, we also we can check like uh, weak uh, credentials like uh, admin, password, and also like uh, admin. But I can tell you all will failed. And also you can check the login bypass techniques, for example, like uh, put, put uh, such a uh, line of code, and uh, then password, but I can tell you, it will not succeed at all. So also you can uh, make a direct emulation, but uh, although you, the GoBuster like GoBuster or Nigato can emulate out some directories or also some files, but uh, such information will be, uh, will be uh, of no use to our application. So to the save time, I will not do that now, okay? So I will just wait for this to be uh, loaded up or get a response from the, from the virtual machine or the server. So it failed, as you can see, I have already uh, told you. But here, as you can see, that we have already known or uh, got the information about the CMS which is lotters, so we can check the whether this CMS has a vulnerability, and we can use the search sprite utility lotters CMS. As you can see, uh, although we now we didn't get the exact version uh, number uh, for the CMS, but uh, I think we can try anyway. So because this is the Metasprite module, 
so we can uh, try this first. If we can uh, get the, 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 this foothold of the virtual machine from the meta sprite, this will be the easiest way, right? And we can launch the meta sprite console. And okay, and we can search the lotters. And uh, we just uh, use this module. We can make a copy. Okay, but you can, as you can see, the payload is defaulting to this one. But uh, when I did this virtual machine, this payload is not working, was not working. We need to select other type of a payload. We need to set the payload to PHP, reverse PHP. Yeah, it must be this one. Otherwise, you will not uh, get your destination or ob objective. Okay, now we can show option to see which fields we need to configure. We, of course, we need to set the remote host as virtual machine. And also, we need to set the URL. This case, just uh, loot directory. And also, we need to set the local host to the Kali Linux. And as always, I'd like to change local port to 555. This is very a uh, personal habit for me, okay? And uh, now I need to check whether I have already configured every required option. I think it is, okay? And now we just uh, run. It's a sending exploit. Yeah, command shell session one opened. It means that we successf successfully exploited uh, this virtual machine. And we can run the command, the ID. And, uh, but uh, this shell is not stable. I'd like to spawn another shell. We can use the netcat. Six six six. Of course, we need to use a different port number. It will, it will not uh, conflict between uh, different shells. Okay, and we can make this to be interactive shell by importing PTY module and run the spawn method. Okay. And now, of course, you can do some uh, some uh, basic uh, uh, emulation. But I can tell you, now we need to elevate our privilege. And uh, and also, I try to elevate the shell to the metaprater and use the suggester module to see whether we can utilize the meta sprite uh, to elevate our privilege to loot user, but I can tell you it will not succeed, okay? And anyway, we can go navigate to the temp directory, and we you, we can check the, the kernel information. I think the kernel is a bit uh, low or outdated, so the, there will be some vulnerabilities for us to elevate our privilege. We can search Search kernel and a lot of exploit we can uh, utilize, but I can tell you only one uh, from my view, only one can succeed is this one the dirty cow. And uh, we can, I need to locate this exploit. Yeah, where is dirty cow? Yeah, the decal. Yeah, this one. 
and uh, I'd like to copy to my current directory, working directory. We can use the search sprite and the M option. Okay, and we need to upload this code to virtual machine by Python. And now we go back to our terminal of the virtual machine. We can use the double get. And uh, the code, the file name is, we just make a copy. I don't want make useless mistake, okay? And we need to check. Maybe I can open up another tab and can cut this code and to see how to compile uh, this uh, code. Okay, we just make a copy and uh, we can paste in here. And uh, here we need to change it to 4. Zero eight eight three line. Okay, I make a copy and then we can paste in here. Okay, no problem. Dirty and uh, I can dirty and run the dirty. And uh, the exploit, uh, please enter the new password, one, two, three, four, five. It means that this exploit is working. You now have already added a new, new user. The username is 5FART, and the password is what we have already supplied, okay? And uh, maybe, but uh, I need to check whether I can SSH. Yeah, no. So I need to not working. Yeah. And now we can switch to the user fire fought. And the password is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, as you can see from the banner, we have already become the root user. We can go to the root directory and we can cut the root flag here. Okay. So here it is. We have already successfully uh, got the loot shell and uh, retrieved the loot flag here. Okay, so that's all. I'd like to go through this virtual machine with you. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.